these are all three of the Ford Duratec V6 camshafts. So, uh, as far as I know, there's only the three. Um, as, as far as this engine and head arrangement goes, uh, the, you know, these would be the, the cam-driven water pumps, the Duratec V6s, and that would be the, the 2.5, the 2.5 SVT, and the 3.0. They're all that same uh, 60-degree Duratec V6 from the 90s to early two th early mid 2000s um there's a few differences between these uh, obviously one that stands out is the tooth count and tooth arrangement on the three liter these have a much shorter teeth tooth profile and they the teeth are a lot closer together so of course they take two totally different chains side by side the, the 2.5 one is so is a bunch wider than the three liter one. Um, I prefer the 2.5 one because it is wider, the teeth are uh, taller, and I don't know if those two problems cause this, uh, but these three liter cam teeth seem to wear out faster than, than the two fives. This one has, you know, marks in it from where because when the engine goes around, the chain only hits the same exact tooth in the same exact spot over and over and over again. That's why it always alternates here. Three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, as I count the marks on each of these guys. That's that's just how it goes. Um, so because they don't alternate, they all leave that same mark on each, each single to tooth of this cam. Now the thing to do when you put these back in is put the is alternate the chain. So you see where this this tooth has three wear marks on it, and this one has two. Put put the chain link that has th three teeth on it here, and the one that has two here. That'll, that'll help keep your your chain nice and snug around all these gears. Help eliminate any kind of cam cam slot between the the sprockets and the chains. Now you can do the same with these, but you can see that these are a whole lot deeper, and this engine doesn't have much more miles. Than these ones next to it. You can see this one has minimal marks. Uh, they're not much worse than this engine. Uh, this engine had a uh, hundred and some thousand on it. This one only had eighty thousand on it. And this one had uh, like one one fifty ish, I think. Maybe one eighty so somewhere in there. It was it was well short of two hundred thousand. I know that, but. But well past the hundred thousand, um, so that's that's a big difference right there. I, I try to stick to you know, the two five chains, but when you're swapping in a three liter t into like your your Ford Contour, or Mercury Mystique, whatever, that's that that's pretty much going to be your deciding factor more or less which kind of cam you use. Whichever one is worn out less, try to go with that one unless you can get new or used cams in better shape then then go that route because these sprockets don't really come off uh, sadly the same can be said about these water pump pulleys on the end of the um, forward intake uh, camshafts uh, they're pressed on there and you're supposed to be able to pull them off but everyone I've ever met who's ever pulled them apart has ended up bending the pulley um, and then it doesn't go on worth a darn, and because you bent the pulley, you know, the, the belt doesn't go around it all that great, so you end up eating belts and you lose your water pump. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not, it's not great. It's, it's pretty crap. Uh, and you have to remove that pulley in some way, somehow, to service the seal. This bolts onto the end of the head, as seen here. Uh, but that's a topic for another time. What I want to talk about were just the differences between the cams. Now I measured the base circles between all these, um, in case I didn't mention it. These are the three intake cams, and these are the, th the, the three exhaust cams. And from, from all my measurements, they, they, the, the two seem exactly the same. Um, and, and when I say that, I mean that the two five exhaust and intake are the same. 
the two five SVT intake and exhaust are the same, then the three liter intake and exhaust are the same. So uh, remember the, these go in pairs, but uh, you can't mix them up when they go on your engine, you'll have troubles. Now, with these guys, the timing marks vary some. It all depends on what year your motor is um, and which motor you have. And some have these little teeth marks on one side, some have an arrow on the back side, some have two little, two little uh, indentations on the back. Here you can see a variety here. That's the arrow one. This one has uh, a couple, a couple uh, timing event marks. And then this one also has uh, two event marks there. Uh, but how to time these, it's, that's not something I want to dive into. It's, it's complicated enough, um, and I should say any idiot can do this. The problem is the books Ford use, some of them are dreadful. The one for the, I believe it's the 96 Contour and Mystique, it says to go off of these arrows, and these arrows have to be pointed at each other, but not when you think they do. It's, it's a very dumb setup. It's not user friendly at all. I'm told the the other manuals, the newer manuals, are not such nonsense. Uh, but and there's there's videos out there of that. But I want to get into the cam lobes before I run out of footage length. Now the the cam lobes, like I said, these come in pairs. The 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 low profiles between these are the same as far as I can tell. A uh, bit between the exhaust and intake, not. Not across engines, but just within the each engine, they are the same. Because uh, the base circles of all six of these are the same. Uh, but found found out that the lobe height of the two five cams is uh, it's like uh, uh, one thousandths of an inch shorter than the the three liter in SVT. Uh, Measured them out there for you. That's that's the max lift at, uh, for both intakes and exhaust. That's that's the max lift. And then I took the time and I I marked some duration marks. Um, so here's what's here, here's where things get interesting. We know that the three liter and the SVT cams they have the the highest lift, uh, the best lift. They both have the highest lift. Um, but the low profiles are a little different. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to show on camera because on camera it kind of wants to make everything a bowl shape. But as I'm standing, sitting here, looking at each of these, I know that this one is a little bit, has a little bit fatter of a profile than that three liter. This one's a little bit more pointy. This one's a little more blunt even though they, they have the same height. So I know that this SVT cam, it's it has more duration at max lift, and this one has less duration at max lift. Now I did take the time to go through the uh, lift durations. Um, I should, should say just the overall duration. The duration between the two the 2.5 liter engines is the same. Uh, the duration of lift between the the two five and the SVT are identical, um, but the the three liter has less overall duration. But what's important between these two is SVT has better max lift duration, uh, so it, it spends more time at max lift than the two five one does. That's that's one of the bigger differences. So. Out of the three, here's the things you want to keep in mind. Uh, most duration, most lift, most uh, most max lift duration. So, in my opinion, the 2.5 SVT cam is the one to go with. Um, now, before you start typing in the comments here, I've, I've read through the contour form. And I, I did some heavy digging before I started ripping engines apart because I wanted to know, okay, which cam set do I want? Uh, because I do have a few engines at my disposal. I want to make sure I'm getting ones with good cams. 
so I'm you know I'm getting the best picking uh, for for our engine build, builds now and and in the future. And everyone said, well the you know the the the, the, the two five SVT and the three liter are a thousand years you know more ahead of this two five. They have more lift and more duration and. But the, the SVT and the 3 liter ones are very similar. One has a little more lift, the other one has a little bit more duration, but no, it's... Mine ain't, okay? <laughs> mine just aren't. I, I went and I did the measurements, and then I, I, I went with, you know, a time, uh, 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 I sat down, <laughs> put the dial gauge on the head, and I watched the, the timing events of all these, and no, no, everything is exactly what I told you. Um, you know, but that that's how it goes. The, the world of forums isn't the best. Sometimes people don't know what they have. Uh, sometimes when people are typing up things, they, they make a mistake. Um, and, you know, whether they proofread it or not, there's a mistake that, that kind of taints, taints your results. Um, but I'm telling you everything firsthand. I, I didn't get anything wrong. You can believe me on that. Um, now I will say, there are a few different variations of the three liter cams, and I'm told the only difference is the early ones. You know, because we'll go back to the basics here. The two five is, was around from 1995 uh, until like 2002, something like that. Uh, mostly in the the Contour, Mystique, and Cougar. But the 3 liter, that's been around since since 95-ish. Oh, I'm sorry, not 95. Uh, that would be the, the third generation Taurus, which I think is 96 or 97. And this lasted in that for a few years. And the 3 liter lived on through many other cars for, for many other years. But for those first few years in that that fourth gen Taurus alone had this timing this chain sprocket on this cam. I'm told the camshafts are are the same. You know, this this is the same camshaft they had in that fourth gen Taurus. But on those they used these sprockets. Now I'm wondering, you know, because people say well, you know, the the 3 liter and 2.5 SVT cams are really similar. Well, my, mine too ain't. Because uh, th this cam came from a 2003-2004 Taurus. Um, it's, it is correct. It, this, this one is even stamped dated 2003. Uh, and this is for sure out of a, you know, 1998, 99 SVT contour. This one is from a 1996 Mystique. You know, so maybe when they were making the 4th Gen Tauruses, they just grabbed, you know, a whole bunch of these, these SVT camshafts, you know, they had a crap ton of them built, just threw them in the Taurus, just like that. Threw these suckers in the 3-liter, called it good. I don't know. Um, that's, that's beyond me. I'm only able to tell you what I do know, and... Yeah, this this is what I know. <laughs> uh, but you can take my word on all this. Like I said, I just got done doing all the measurements. It was a pain in the butt. But I did it. You know, that's that's what matters. Uh, so, so long after the forums are gone and long after I'm gone, this info will still be there. If I ever happen to get a 4th Gen Taurus cam, uh, we'll, we'll get into that. I'd love to see how different that is from these three. And then once I have that, I believe I should have all variations of this um, type of Duratec V6. I will mention here before I call it quits, there is the Jag and Lincoln uh, Duratec, the, you know, the Jag and Lincoln 3 liters. Now the, the cams will look similar to these, but they don't use lifters. The, the cams work directly on bucket and shims over these valves instead of rockers and uh, the, you know, the, it's a lifter but it's more of a shock absorber for the rocker it just keeps tension on the roller rocker um, so those are totally different engines you can't can't use those you know bucket and shim cams and these 
in these heads and you can't be using these r roller cams in those bucket and shim heads that's not going to work as far as i know you can't use these heads for with those heads or vice versa but i don't know that that all too well but uh yeah uh <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll call things quick here that's just something interesting i found so i will be definitely going ahead and going with my svt cams unless i find something else out there but i doubt it so See you later.